three months ago, military hero Johnson B. Harry VC had never seen an ice rink, let alone skate on one. So to be chosen by the public to go through to the real competition that starts this weekend is already a massive achievement. For me, the show is about not the 10.7 million viewers, it's about 300 people that's in the studio looking at the show. I'm so focused on doing my job right that I just go out there, concentrate on what I have to do for two minutes and hopefully get it right. Lance Corporal Johnson B. Harry VC joined the military in 2001 and after three tours and twice rescuing comrades under fire in Iraq, he was awarded a Victoria Cross in 2005. Since then, he says his life has changed and he was certainly up for the ice skating challenge. How did it actually come about, you coming on the show? Um, well, I've got an agent and she asked me if I want to do the show. Bear in mind, I've never seen an ice ring in my life and I said yes. <laughs> So you said yes straight away, there was no hesitation really? No, no, I just straight away said yes. No, haven't had a clue what I was going into. Now he's been training since November last year and out of 16 contestants, he's down to the final 12 that will get through the competition. But it's the military skills that are important, like determination, motivation and being focused on the job at hand that will hopefully get him through to the final stages. His dance partner, Canadian Jodine Higgins, is competing in the TV show for the first time and admires Johnson's dedication to the training. Well, I think in the beginning, um, Johnson faced a lot of challenges. He was injured severely at war and he's had um, you know, some complications that he's had to overcome in general just to survive. So to think that he's even taken on the challenge of ice skating, to me, was just remarkable. And I think it's actually even healed him. Um, some of his injuries, he's complained of back injury and shoulder and some of the techniques that we're using to teach the skating is actually helping him as a person and, and overcome some of those injuries. Johnson is an inspirational character around the forces world and he's certainly feeling that support from the military community. So Johnson, you had a lot of military friends come support you? Um, I don't have them come down yet. I had one person come down this morning but um, I've got full support from the military and all my friends. And have any of them taken the mick out for your sequins and lycra? Not, not yet, just the finger, just the banana finger. <laughs> Last week, Johnson injured his finger, which stopped him from training on the ice for five days. This week, they may be playing catch-up, but they're not letting that stop them, as they're training harder than ever. And now we're excited to be back on the ice this week, putting it all together. And we're really excited that nothing had to be changed, that the finger really hasn't come into play too much for any of the tricks that we'd had planned. And what's really, I think, um, neat is that he's grasping all aspects of skating and this week you're going to see him lift me, you're going to see him spin, you're going to see some footwork from him, some cheeky personality which is something that they'd commented on that was lacking in the first routine and he's also going to jump and so I'm scared for you. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you know that's that's quite the feat, that's something that I never thought that Johnson would be able to do. Um, you know, jump and spin. Like I was just happy in the beginning days just to see the man actually standing up on his own and skating. And now he can do all these things with or without me. You know, he doesn't have to have me hold him up. And I think that that's quite an accomplishment. And you're with quite a few celebrities, of course, on the show. Do you feel like you're a celebrity yourself now? Well, I'm a soldier and I'm going to always remain a soldier. So I'm, I'm military driven and I'm going to continue my journey. <laughs>